Ready? Shuffle. Sketch. Here comes the mashup phase of about 20... 20... 12, 2013 is when I feel like I really started seeing a lot of these random mashups the most. This is a mashup of Radioactive by Imagine Dragons and Radioactive by Marine and the Diamonds, which I will not be playing for fear of copyright strike. If I manage to find the original, I will leave a link in the description below. At first I wanted to kind of go more towards a Marine and the Diamonds, so I was sketching out that concept idea in my sketchbook. Then I decided, radioactivity, what does that usually bring to mind for me? And I instantly thought, Fallout, because Fallout 3 is my favorite video game. So I decided I was going to sketch out maybe like a pair of ghouls and maybe their rock stars. And I kind of used that page more as a concept base for the character that I ended up drawing for the final piece. I actually have finished the ghoul on the left side of that page, the one with the mohawk that inspired this character, over on my Instagram. You guys should go check it out, which link to my Instagram down below. And I decided to draw her in like some pieces and parts of my favorite raider armor, the absolutely ridiculous bikini bra thing, and then some of the spike armor and stuff. I wanted to kind of play with the proportions of her body and the perspective, have her looking up, but also to the side, it was a little weird. And her torso is a little bit stocky. I do go in and fix this later and give her kind of a more emaciated torso because she's she's technically undead. You, you can do that, so eh, whatever. I do also give her more glamorous heels later on because she's a rock star. She's, she's gonna be sporting some pretty glam stuff even in the middle of a wasteland. I did on this piece, the riskiest thing I did was the freehand lettering of the lyrics, and I think they actually turned out pretty good. I tried putting like a toxic sign in the circle that the lyrics make, but it just didn't end up working out. I'm really glad that I managed to keep my too much gene under control for that one, because otherwise I really think I would have been cluttering up the piece too much. Like it's already very busy with all of her spikes and skin texture and all that stuff. When I was painting her skin, I kind of wanted it to be more of a modely texture. Like, I, I wanted it to have more than just the flat tone. I wanted it to have a whole bunch of bruising in it, but I apparently forgot about that halfway through. You can make ghouls look pretty dang gross, but I, I think I played it safe with her. Next time I do a ghoul, I'm definitely going to make her a lot grungier. And I have redrawn this character a couple of times, and the other time I've drawn it, I've already posted it to my Instagram. I actually made her eyes blue to match the outfit she was in, so maybe because of the radiation, she just has eyes that turn to match whatever main color is in her outfit that day because the main color I'd say I use for this is green. Now when it came to the background for this piece, I wanted to make the most radioactive color I could possibly think of. So I mixed together a highlighter yellow-esque color, and over time it, ha it did fade a little bit. It's not as radioactive as it was when I originally laid it down, but it's still a lot brighter than anything I would usually go for especially when I make her hair bright pink somewhere along the way. This, this piece definitely has a, a chaotic color palette, but she's a chaotic person, so I, I think it kind of works out for the better.
pretty well exemplifies the mashup between Imagine Dragons is radioactive and Marina and the Diamonds radioactive. We've got Apocalypse and Glamour. Besides, it gave me the opportunity to draw spiked armor, a ghoul, and a mohawk all at the same time, so I think this piece is a win-win-win. Bonus points to you if you get that reference. If you'd feel so inclined, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified of my future uploads, and check me out on my other social media handles. Thanks, and I'll see y'all in the next one.